Well, those are some replies to a survey launched by Steve Turner, who wanted to hear from women and girls about their experiences of sexual harassment. The results are going to be used to bid for funding from the government's Safer Streets 3 programme, launched following the death of the former Durham University student, Sarah Everard. Well, Nikki Harkin is the CEO of Arch North East, who supports survivors of sexual violence. They actually helped to launch the survey, and this is what Nikki told me earlier. Unfortunately, it's lots of women and girls' reality, and over 86% of young women aged between 18 to 24 said that they'd experienced sexual harassment in public spaces. That's a massive number. And what we're seeing from this local survey is a very similar experience coming forward from women and girls on Teesside. The majority of the people that we support will have experienced violence violence in the home, you know, in a domestic context or involving family members or close acquaintances and friends. That's the reality, you know, that the stranger type offences are rare. They're not the norm across two sides. So we wouldn't want people to feel fearful in the respect of those kind of real serious violent crimes are a common occurrence. That's not. But I think what we need to do is to shift our kind of tolerance for sexual violence and actually send the message out that all sexual violence is an issue and that we need to do something about it. Sexual harassment, you know, sexism on the street, that's just as important that we tackle and we get the message out there that if you experience these things, that you don't have to keep silent, you can speak out and that you can access support. Well, the new uh, Police and Crime Commissioner for the Cleveland Force is Steve Turner. He's listening into that. He's live with us on BBC Radio Teams. Morning, Steve. Morning, Neil. Oh, yeah. Are you settling into your role, first of all? Uh, yeah, it's, it's been really good. It's uh, four weeks tomorrow. Um, it's been interesting, it's been exciting, and and there's lots to do. Yeah, including this. I mean, you launched this survey. Just explain why you decided to do that. So basically, this this landed on my desk week one, um, the opportunity for, for us to bid for, for funding from the Safer Streets. But there's, there's £45 million the government's put into that. Um, and whilst in Safer Streets 1 and Safer Streets 2, we've looked at inquisitive crime or high street crime and things like that, this is particularly aimed at women and girls um, who can often feel vulnerable in the nighttime economy. Um, and for that, we, I wanted us to consult and sort of say, right, well, well where are our hotspots and where are our problems? What would make women feel good? Because we're the best one in the world. Mm. My, my experience of a night out, your experience of a night out in, in our towns and villages just will be very, very different. And, and this is what I wanted to understand. And then when we get that information, it will, it will really help us put in a, an informed, structured bid um, that will, will give us the best possible opportunity to do as much as we can to help people. And Steve, 750 women already have responded so far. What's flagging up? What sort of things have, have you identified in the survey, the areas of main concern, for example? Or... Um, yeah, I think the first thing I'd like to say, so 750, I'd, I'd love to see a lot more. The, the survey runs till the 11th of June and the link for that can be found on, on my website, on my social media. And the more information we can get, the better informed we will be. But some of the things that are coming up, uh, I think that, that there's a high proportion of women go, go out on a night and, and sort of almost take it for granted now that there will be... There will be whistled at, there will be cat calls. If if a man approaches them in a bar and, and they politely say no, then suddenly that turns into an abusive conversation. And and that if you if you then leave in a bar after that, and, and these are the things that are coming out, you you can feel quite vulnerable because of that. You know, saying they don't like to get taxis on their own. Um, but then we've got a high proportion of young women, especially that that sort of walk home from our towns and on a night, and, and those are the routes that we want to look, whether it's yeah. walking past the park or walking down an alley. And I know where I live in Redcar, the high street is really well served and there's very few incidents um, that, that would relate to this type of thing in Redcar High Street. But if you want to walk out of the town and you want to walk back to some of the estates, then then those routes just aren't covered. And, and there are some pretty obvious routes where it's mm. unlicensed taxi drivers pitch up and things like that. It, it's quite easy to think, well, I've still got a mile to walk home or I'll jump in this car that's offered me a lift. Have you been shocked by some of the things you've read already, Steve? I have, I have, if I'm honest. Um, it's I'm, I'm a I'm a father of three boys, so I, I've got to be honest. Th this direct issue within that, other than my, than my wife, I probably don't see as often as some other people. So to see those, to see that survey come through, and this is why I wanted to do it. This is because I recognise that you to to make the best decisions, you've got to have the best information, and this is what we're trying to get. Um, when uh, you, you've gone forward to try and get the money, uh, the grant, if the grant is awarded, how soon can you get things in place? With, with Safer Streets 1 and Safer Streets 2, 
Um, both of those bids, when we've been successful, have happened fairly quickly. So I, the, the bids have to be in, in July. I would expect us to see this um, come to fruition, certainly by the beginning of the autumn. And, and I'd li- if I'm honest, I'd really like to see some of these projects in place before we hit the, the Christmas season. Yeah. Are you confident you'll get the money or is it difficult to say? It's always difficult to say. We've had over a million pounds so far and we've done some fantastic work with the money from Safer Streets 1 and Safer Streets 2. Um, and, and we know when we get the money, we're in a good position to, to do good things with it. So I, I, I think we, we'll put in the best possible bid. We're already ahead of some of our counterparts in the fact that we're, we've been running the survey for three weeks now. Others others up and down the country have, have only just launched their bids and whatever. So yeah. we will have the best possible bid going in. OK. Did you say it shuts in a couple of days? Is it uh, the 11th of June, you yeah, said? So the, it's only two days on this, yeah. Really- Two days, yeah. So the okay. survey runs till the end of June. We've been running for three weeks, so I would actively encourage anybody, and we'll send you a link across to put on your, on your social media as well, um, to make sure that as many women as possible fill this survey in and give us the best possible information. Brilliant. Thank you for that as well. Uh, we've got it as well uh, this morning, which is smartsurvey.co.uk forward slash feeling so... Um, Feelings, actually, we'll, we'll have a look through the details in a few moments. Feelings of safety dash women and girls as well, but we'll have a look at that again a little bit later on. Cheers, Steve. Thanks for coming on on the radio this morning. Steve Turner, who is the new uh, Police and Crime Commissioner for the Cleveland Force area.